Hi traders, get ready for an exciting trading week in Forex. With the US monetary policy holding steady yet slightly more hawkish and NFP numbers surging higher, the market is primed for explosive moves. So let's start the weekly analysis with dollar index. So currently I am on dollar index monthly chart. Now based on monthly, we have a sequence of low, higher low, double bottom here and higher low. Apart from that, we have a resistance area which was broken. So we had higher high formation and now the market bumped into the same monthly previous resistance now turned into support. And if you notice, it's been quite some time that US dollar index is hovering at the same support area. So it had bounced once twice and now thrice and definitely we have bullish divergence when we switch to weekly time frame so here based on weekly chart we have lower low formation along with bullish divergence second bullish divergence and again we have higher high formation so we have us dollar moved into the bullish direction now and this was the pullback coming back into the same support zone which we have just noticed on the monthly time frame and now it has started rising up moving to candlesticks based on candlesticks the pattern is quite bullish clear bullish moves and the next immediate area of resistance is here now this is the previous high and the next high applying fib extension from this low to this high the 618 extension level is coinciding with this resistance zone so at least at least in the coming days we can expect us dollar index to rise to 105.1 and if it continues its bullish run then the next target would be 108 so in the short term us dollar index remains bullish moving to 4h again we have bullish pattern on the chart so this was the bullish divergence on 4 hourly chart we got the break of structure after breaking the structure it went sideways again breaking the structure and again it went sideways now with the announcement of nfp we have the break of range so if it bumps back takes support in this area we can expect the continuation to 105.1 followed by 108 so in the short term dollar is clear it's bullish now if dollar is bullish then definitely we should look for shorting the currency instruments against us dollar so let's go to market milk and based on market milk if you look at the comparative strength of various currencies on a weekly time frame basis the strongest currency is usd and australian dollar is quite weak and we have New Zealand dollar somewhere sitting in the middle based on daily time frame dollar is again on the top and New Zealand is the second last so let's click on USD and compare the various currencies against dollar so against dollar if we compare the weakest currency is New Zealand. So it definitely makes sense to short New Zealand USD in the coming week. So let's move back to the charts and pick New Zealand US dollar. Now I'll start from daily time frame. Based on daily time frame, if we notice on the basis of FIB retracement, starting from this low to this high. I have applied Fibonacci retracement so 61 or 62% retracement is coming here 
So that's also very close to the round number of 6,000. Currently, we are at 6062. So there is a high probability of New Zealand US dollar moving to 6,000 or even slightly lower. Applying high volume profile tool. So we have fixed range volume profile applied from this low to the recent high and it has already crossed below this high volume zone and the next high volume zone is here so our plan is to look for this area as target now let's see if we have any signs against in the bearish move so based on daily moving back to line chart the formation is we have high lower high we have low and it, it's now going to continue downwards and it will create a new low in the upcoming days moving to 4h again we have lower lows and lower high formation so comparing four hourly chart we have high we have lower high in our ranging pattern again we have lower high in our ranging pattern so if this range is broken the target would be the next high volume zone so New Zealand US dollar remains bearish even on four hourly chart the structure is bearish and I do not see any bullish divergence coming into play right now so no signs against the bearish move comparing the recent lows we have low and lower low we have low and lower low which is not yet complete so based on MACD lines it would be not correct to apply divergence but based on histogram we do not have any divergence so one early chart is still bearish moving to 15 minutes again lower lows and lower highs with no signs against bearish divergence coming into play here even a wider one break of structure so if you want a shot we can apply volume profile from this recent most high to the recent most low now this is the area of high volume so market if moves up it can retest the previous high volume zone one is marked here and the second one is here and if you can go short as close or nearest to this high volume zone area your risk and reward will be favorable so i'll be looking to go short after the pullback and target 6000 ground number as my first destination and it could be slightly lower as well now if i've uh, when we have compared the multiple currencies on weekly and daily time frame new zealand us dollar is the weakest but at the same time euro usd is also going weak so euro is getting bigger in comparison to dollar but it is slightly better than new zealand us dollar so in that sense euro is stronger than new zealand dollar so euro new zealand gives an opportunity to go long in the coming week starting from weekly time frame if we compare the structure here we have low higher low higher low higher low and here we have higher low. we have highs higher high higher high and higher high now if you notice it also created a lower high so after this high was formed we have a lower high and we have low and lower low so definitely in the short run it looks bearish here based on the market structure and this is a strong area of resistance so what i've done here i've connected a falling trend line connecting the previous highs i've, I've made a falling trend line by connecting the previous highs and I'm expecting the pullback at least for the retest of this falling trend line. Now let's move to daily time frame. So here, if you 
notice we have lower low formation with bullish divergence coming into play bullish breakout structure and then the market starts making higher lows higher lows higher lows and higher highs so i've applied fib extension on the two up cycles so this is the first one based on candles and this is the second one the bigger one based on candles and the duplication zone is here first duplication zone and the second duplication zone is somewhere here so the first potential target is 1.7930 to 1.7950 currently we are sitting at 1.775 so there is a high potential of making another 150 pips in this currency pair in the upcoming week moving to 4 hourly and going to candlesticks we have I've applied extensions ranging from this is my first bullish cycle then this is my second bullish cycle and we got the bullish magnet zones if you look at the price structure based on 4 hourly chart currently it has formed higher lows higher lows higher lows high and higher high and higher high with no bearish divergence coming into play so it may find some resistance at this area that would be around 1.7817 then if it gets blocked here you can expect some pullback but pullback to be bought with the next upcoming target as 1.7930 based on one hourly i do not see any signs against so we have bullish run corrective run next bullish run corrective run and again a higher high formation with no divergence coming into play so the path is clear for the buyers so here if we apply either on 15 minutes or one only time frame our entry then based on the previous low this would be the invalidation so if price breaks below this area so this is the last higher low so if it breaks below 1.7664 or 7665 the bullish plan will be invalidated our second technique to invalidate would be the break of this rising trend line so any pullback should be taken as an opportunity to buy until it remains above this price level that's 1.7665 or it remains above the rising trend line the next currency pair is AUD CAD now starting from daily time frame currently it's in downtrend so here we have here we have higher high with bearish divergence and then it started forming high lower high lower high and lower high now based on support and resistance currently it has entered into a massive support zone so these lines are the support areas so right now we have entered into a massive support area along with the rising channel so it is a confluence of support and the number is 0 0.8755 so again if you round it off to quarter number so it will be 0 0.8750 so i'll be looking for bullish confirmation like bullish divergence coming on the lower time frame then the breakout structure and i can go for short term buys in the coming days so i'm not planning for sell around this support zone so here we are so if you see this is a massive one second if you notice this is the massive resistance now expected to be new support now moving to 4h currently i have no bullish structure on the chart so we have lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high and lower high along with lows lower low lows lower low but i'm expecting bullish divergence to be formed 
once we have a bullish crossover on MACD lines. So with the bullish divergence coming into play, the sellers will be getting weak and with the break of structure, it will be the confirmation to go long in the coming days around 8750 or maybe slightly lower than 8750. And the last instrument to be covered is NASDAQ. Now starting from weekly, NASDAQ is clearly in the bullish run. So here we have low, higher low, higher low, higher low, along with high, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, and now the new high is going to be created. I do not see any signs against MACD lines. They are open in the upward direction. Histogram is still going strong, so no divergence coming into weekly. And based on bullish FIB extension applied on multiple cycles, the first magnet, magnet zone was created around this area that was 17,500. And the next FIB extension level is 18,255. So if it remains above the previous resistance now, turned into support so this area to be retested as support so if we talk about the levels it is exactly 16,993 or in round number we can say 17,000 so if it remains above 17,000 then the next target will be 18,255 coming from the weekly chart now I'm moving lower to daily even on the daily time frame, the structure is bullish. So we have low, higher low, higher low, higher low, along with high, higher high, higher high, and higher high. Currently, we are sitting at a very strong resistance level, which is also a magnet zone. And I can see a slowdown coming up on the daily chart weekly is still bullish but daily is showing some signs of slowdown now it is just a divergence so we cannot rely only on the basis of divergence for going short it has to break the previous low so the previous low is here so that's around 17,234 so let's mark a line here so this will be our daily bearish BOS all right so currently facing resistance around 17,750 in the coming week if you find an opportunity to buy on the dips with the support coming around 17,500 or 17,410 then take the opportunity and go long with the target as 18,200 55 or in round number we can say 18,250 if it breaks below 17,235 then the bullish plan should be invalidated then please do not hold your buy trades any further if this level is broken so this is the plan for the upcoming week i hope my technical analysis adds some value and if you still have any doubts you can get back to me if you have any specific instruments which you want me to cover in the upcoming videos please send your message thank you and have a profitable trading week ahead